Hello everyone. In this video, I have brought a Lisp file that will help you in numbering serially in your drawing components. In traditional method, we would just copy the text to where we need to show numbering. Then edit them all individually to different numbers. But, since this method is very time consuming and also sometimes we might miss to edit some text. I am sure this Lisp can be very useful in such situations. So, to make the numbering or naming easier, we need to have a Lisp file first. Here we can see a Lisp file. I have named this file as CAD Magics, which is my YouTube channel name in bracket we can see I, N, A, which stands for incremental number in alphabets. This Lisp will activate the I, N, A command in AutoCAD which will help in numbering serially in AutoCAD. I have also provided the download link for you from where you can easily download this Lisp file. Now, let's select this Lisp file and copy it with Ctrl plus C. Open the AutoCAD file in which we are going conduct the numbering work. Now we have to paste our copied Lisp at the place where AutoCAD uses the space for loading Lisp application. For that, we can type upload or even easier, A, P. And press enter. From here we can load or unload any applications which are either AutoCAD default programs or any we have brought here. Let's right click somewhere here and paste. We have to provide administrative permissions for the changes we want to make, click continue and click yes. Then the Lisp file is pasted at this location. Now, to get our command to work on this file, we have to load it first. For this, we have to select our Lisp file and click on this load. And we can see here could magic's INA file successfully loaded. Now we can close this dialog box. Now we have a new command in our AutoCAD file, that is INA. Before we go ahead, did you subscribe the channel? If you're new here, I'm Bishnu, and I create practical AutoCAD tutorials to help you level up your drafting skills one step at a time. There are more useful tutorials on my channel and still more videos are on the way, so make sure don't miss any. And also I like to request you to share this video to others and support this channel. Now, let's dive in and make AutoCAD a little easier for you to master. Here we can see I have created some columns. And we are going to show the count numbering. So let's first place the count numbering to each columns. Let's type I N A and press enter. Here at the command bar, we can see we have three options. The first option is for numbering. Type N and press Enter. Provide the height of text as required. Let's say 2 and press Enter. Now enter the starting number. That is first number of counting. Let's type 1 and press Enter. But we can also start from others numbers like 2, 3, 11 etc. Then enter the increment number. That is the difference to the next successive number. If we start from 1 and enter increment number 1, we will get the numbers 1, 2, 3 respectively. Or if we start from 0 and enter increment number 5, we will get numbers 0, 5, 10 respectively. Let's type 1 and press enter. Here since we choose starting number 1 and increment number 1, let's go on clicking at every columns, we can see incremental numbers starting from 1 is being placed at the location where we clicked. Again let's type I N A and press enter. This time let's choose second option. Type A for alphabets and press enter. Let's type 2 for height of text and press enter. Now let's go on clicking over these columns. We can see A, B, C, D respectively. Isn't it nice? Just type I N A A type N or A for option. Enter text height, enter starting number, enter incremental number and go on clicking. Now, for third option, let's type I N A and press enter. Type S for slash option and press enter. Let's type 2 for height of text and press enter. Here again we have two options. If we type N and press enter, we will have text shown in number slash number format. And if we type A and press enter, we will have text shown in number slash alphabet format. So let's first type N and press enter. Let's type starting number 1 and press enter. Let's go on clicking. Again, let's type I N A and press enter. Type S for slash option and press enter. Type 2 for text height and press enter. Now let's type A for alphabet and press enter. Let's type 1 for starting number and press enter. 
Then let's go on clicking. Therefore, by using this list command, we can conduct four type of naming or numbering works in our drawing. And that's a wrap. You can simply click on the link shared below to download the Lisp file. And I still have hundreds of useful Lisp files at my backup. Since my channel is very new, do not hesitate to support by sharing, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips and tricks. If you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions or need more clarification, drop them in the comments below, I'd love to help. Thanks for watching, and happy drafting!